nice alignment. Welcome back, people. We're at a new episode, continuing what we have been doing, the e-bike, the proto, the proto moto. What we've done today, we've changed the motor mount once again, has the motor higher so that we have the correct chain clearance on the top of the swing arm. But now we have it right, and today includes, I guess, rubbers on the tires. Some, no, we're gonna put some rubbers on the wheels. We're gonna put some tires on the wheels. I guess the drive chain, and we're gonna have a rolling chassis. We also got the forks on, I did that yesterday, forks on. More progress, here we go. We wanted to space the sprocket out, the rear wheel, so we made this cool spacer. Now this item, designed by Bennett, property of Second Strike Mopeds. <laughs> <laughs> ben does not like that. It's like a spacer. It's got the alignment for spacing out a rear sprocket on the Tomos. Here we go. How's, how's it work? Pop it on. Aha. Nice. Spacing it out a quarter inch. Yeah. Pop that sprocket on. Good. Lines it all up. We still got enough edge here so that the sprocket center to the wheel. And there we go. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I'll start designing a battery plate. You start right. tiring up these tubes, these wheels. We're doing tires. I'm gonna try to do them tubeless. All right, luckily I have a couple of these tubeless tire valves. This angle, I don't think that's for me. I mean, that's for like tighter profiles on the tires. I think this is, these are the ones for us. Looks like the uh, the Titanic. All right, Bennett, what, what is that? This is the base plate of the battery box. Let's see if it actually fits. Looks like it's not going to fit. What? Hey, that's the jam. I mean, that's pretty sweet. I want to extend the these. box more, yeah. The wind can come around the battery. Figured I might as well do the front fender mount first because once I put the front wheel on, it's gonna like be harder to do that. Front brace right from the Tomos there. And then I have a fender. Pretty close. steps before I roll this thing around. Lock down the front nuts. I also should check out the center stand and the foot pegs. You gotta put your foot somewhere. I'm trying to play chess with this. I don't wanna miss any steps. I don't wanna have to go back and change everything because we forgot something. So all things considered. All things need to be considered. Day, doing some more work on the bike. Got handlebars on there. Zach's trimming them up. Handlebars too wide. They end up like hitting cars as you go around them. So nice narrow bars is what I prefer. I haven't videotaped the battery box, but we got the bracket from yesterday, and then this was sort of started after I left yesterday. It's not quite right, but it's getting there. So we got a rolling uh, chassis. Everything's mounted, the controls are hooked up, brakes are in there. We got the battery strapped down temporarily now. I really like this headlight, the square headlight. It's like modern and classic at the same time. Like a RoboCop. 
We still have to figure out how to hook up all the electrical stuff, lights, the controller and battery. There's a lot to do. So we've been working on e-bikes for a while. We just haven't done it on an e-bike this powerful. Cause it's not really an e-bike. It's like an electric moped. So we're talking like four times the power as the normal bikes, like these Bintelli e-bikes. These are 500 watts. This thing is 2000 watts. So it's a little different. And there's no seat on it. So you're just sitting on the rack, but. This is nice. This is like low and tight. This is gonna be like the most solid uh, anything electrical out there. Well, I hope so. It's practically and, a motorcycle. This yeah, is like it's a e-bike on steroids. It's built pretty intensely. Yeah. Check out our website. In the description below, we'll have a link. You'll see the bikes that we have for sale. Soon, this bike. We're gonna finish this, we're gonna take pictures, we'll get it on the site, but look out for that soon. This is Pete from Second Stroke Mopeds. As always, saying, don't forget about mopeds.